So let's talk uh, sunlight and microbes. Right. Okay. So uh, what people what people sort of forget is that when the sunlight hits that plant, fifty to sixty percent of the photosynthetic energy is used not to produce the cannabis flower, not to produce the leaves or the stem, but to produce carbon exudates that drip out into the soil. So the quality of light has everything to do with the quality of the exudates and the efficiency of the plant being able to produce those exudates. Okay, those exudates are what attract the bacteria and the fungi to feed the plants, you know, blah, 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 teeming with microbes. If you have bad light, then you are not impacting the plant properly, A. B, some of these microbes are sensitive to light. Some of these microbes are photosynthetic. Some of these, uh, you know, so, so that light has an impact on them as well. And the other members of the soil food web are impacted by the light in similar ways, and they in turn have impacts on the microbes which end up. So the whole thing cascades as a result of the sun hitting that plant. Now, if you use an LED that's missing green wavelength, because most of them are, oh, they don't need any green. Well, the reason why they say that is because they can't produce it. Yeah. So it's missing the green wavelength. Well, then, you know, that means that deep down in that leaf, there are chloroplasts that aren't operating the way they're supposed to. Yeah, the ones on the top are, but that green stuff, is a, that's a wave, and it goes into the plant. And it, and it does stuff way down deep, you know. And so if you're missing that, you got a problem. Uh, and that's why I like the plasma lamp, because it's, it's, it was invented specifically to mimic the sun's spectrum. This has, sounds like a process of sitting there for thousands of years on those Afghani hills. Well, it's not just, yeah, for everything. And, and, and not just the plants, but us as well. I mean, you know, we react to sunlight. Uh, you know, I always, I always think about people that are out there under the indoor grow, you know, working under the LEDs and uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Uh, so by plasma, you mean HID lighting? No, these are, these are called a plasma light. It's okay. just like a plasma light. You know, there's a special gas on the oh, ends. Okay. These are really unbelievable. A little teeny light. They repl One light replaces five or six of these, you know, big, you know, Gravita type lights. I mean, what I like about this plasma light is you talk about terroir. Let's assume you want to grow Durban poison in Portland, Oregon, you know, or Anchorage, Alaska. Well, now we can dial in the exact sunlight. We can get the exact wavelength from Durban, Africa, latitude, longitude, dial it in on this plasma lamp and give it that, and then get the soil from Durban, get the seeds from Durban, bingo. Plasma lights have been around yeah, for a while. And, and you used to have to have a, you know, a uh, one for flowering, one for veg. No, not, not with this one. This, the guy who's a Swiss guy he invented, I just met him this weekend, and he, his goal was to match the sun. So now, when you test a solar panel, you use this light to test the solar panel. You don't have to use the sun. You can test it in the factory. There's nothing else I know that does that, period. Now, you know, these are not cheap lights, but the efficiency is unbelievable. They last two, three, four hundred thousand hours and they use no wattage as far as i know like in massachusetts there's so they're a, energy saving oh my god and they last forever and no heat and no heat <laughs> it's unbelievable and, they mimic the sun, and but the sun has heat. well they mimic the sun but i mean you know the, you'd have to be well, inside it to get the heat the other thing about it is, is is that the form factor can be changed so that you can you know you can make it you could depending the box is you know little but you can make it long you can make it fast. Now, this light is definitely patented. It's patented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's patented yeah, yeah, and it's yeah, being yeah. used and, and it's being market. tested. It's on the market. It's, it's on, it, it is on the it's market. being used for the film industry. It's just as a light. Well, it's being used. The growers, they can afford them. growers are using them. Hospitals are testing them because of the mental. Uh, it has imp and hotels and you know venues oh, we, because you feel good under sunlight. So. It's all headlights? Not headlights yet. And what I can't get them to do yet, but they're working on it, is to make a little teeny marble sized one for my, you know, six by four grow tent. That's what we really want. I, it's the only light I know that that I would ever use in Massachusetts, which, which has a wattage, you know, restriction.